my beautiful ladies and dudes, this is Princess Crest here with another wig review. I know it's been a while since I've uh, done a wig review, but uh, I figured, I'd, and I've done this same wig before in a different color, but I figured I'd do uh, a darker color since, uh, you know, Halloween's coming up and people are dressing up trying to figure out what to what to go trick or treating as, but I'm going to do <coughs> Janet Collection, Black and the Black Pearl Collection, Blue Lace Gaga wig, and a color number one, and it's the heat resistant fiber. I didn't necessarily say. Let me check them. This heat resistant fiber because sometimes it'll say on depending on the brand what temperature you can use it up to. I don't right here. But this is a the black pearl collection, no tape, no glue. And the baby hair sometimes I have sometimes I have I think I put too much baby hair up there and you just have to just whatever your preference is towards the baby hair. It just says hey, it is I guess you just have to it's a lot of them now are uh coming out with the exact temperature what uh heat and element you should use on it. And it's got the regular, you know, wash and care, but it doesn't uh say exactly what heat. Ow. I'm going to take it off my wig head. Hello everyone. <laughs> I'll just see I just put it on there to cut the lace off. And I usually use along with the T pins, these little pins right here you can get at Sally's um a duckbill clip to hold it. Let me see if I can like just take the hair and clip it back out of your waist so you can trim the, the lace really good. And you can see this is some of the some of the lace that I've trimmed off. But uh, that helps a lot to have a, a firm wig head and the T-pins. Both of them uh, I got at Sally Beauty Supply and I can't remember how many of these uh, see that no pins is to a pack, but um, oops, we found a lot of them and the uh, now the clamp. I don't know if I can get this off the short, but you use you can find like the kind that has a section cut that you can adhere to your table or your your dress or whatever to put the. Well, I don't know, I might just do a video of that later, I can get it off. Um, but it's sort of like, you know, like the men use, or people that do handy, handy woodwork or whatever, the clamps that they used, uh, hold wood down, it's sort of like that. But it's made for, uh, I'm tightening up very little, uh, uh, the wigs. This is the Gaga. Hopefully the color is picking that shot up because uh, that's one thing I really like about like dark the jet black wigs is the uh, um, the color. I just wish they had like a, a blue black because I used to dye my hair blue black and it's got that blue kind of cast to it. Excuse me. <coughs> but uh, here's the the goggle. The other thing with putting on the stuff on heads is uh, sometimes you get a little extra. Just shake it out because it'll come. It'll come out. That's so pretty. Well, that means that this has got two combs, one in each temple. My oh, wig kept slipping. I need to try. It. Some people use knee highs. I don't know. I think my head might be a little too big. 
Let me touch my grades up. I got a video on cooling the grades I need to upload. Uh, I said if I got brave enough, I'd upload that video and let you see but what my hair looks like. Well, actually, I have it up and get ready to section it off and color it. Uh, but this has got to comb in each temple and the comb right in the back and the bra, bra strap. This is a Greatest little mansion. I don't know who was the first person to think of that. That's a good idea. And the thing is, if it ever wears out, if you've got a bra, bra strap, you could probably redo it. And that's a good, good idea for your old uh, bras. I don't know, some people when they have the human hair wigs, they put an extra elastic band in there to secure it down. But uh, let me get the straps adjusted here. There's uh, the party space on the Janet collection wigs are really, I don't think it's any party space much at all. And the one thing I did not bring was a comb. I'll just use the tail of my um, rat tail. This is a good brush. Um, the flat brushes. They're like flat and square. Those are better for straight hair, straight styles, but these are good for like doing a flip, you know, because it's got the finger rest on the other side to help you get a good grip. But uh, I'll try this on here. Let's see if I can. Now, I'm going to try some of the really, really short, short styles. And hopefully I'll get, uh, I don't know what brand, but I've been wanting to try them all summer because it's been so hot. And to have all this hair on your, on your head can be something in the heat. So, uh, I'll shift it back a little bit. And the good thing about wearing wigs that's, uh, the same color as your hair. You don't have all this extra gray, but I'm going to take care of that or have it taken care of, which is easier. Um, you can blend it in with your own, with, with the wig hair. Let's see if I can get my combs. See, I got little, little gray there. Hair mascara. If you check the beauty supply stores, they have it like in a crayon form and the mascara wand and you just brush it on just like doing your eyelashes with the mascara. So I'm going to say all of this I have anything light I can show it to you with. All this well, I'm just going on up here and see it. That's the um, Baby hairs. That's why I don't like all the baby hairs because I mean, it makes it so bushy and wild. But I mean, I've taken the time to put my hair in the hair cap, and you got all this fuzziness going on. I need to tighten it down a little bit. I'll take my. Oh, it didn't hurt. All right. And, uh, no, I'm just putting it on no, uh, glue, no tape. That's what it says on the, on the thing. Now, this does show you, if I can get it turned out, on the inside. That shows. What that show? She's doing the. Uh, I can't see what brand that is. I don't know what brand that is. But, uh, she's just putting. You don't even show her with the wig cap on. Because I usually have the, show the wig cap. There's number one. 
I don't know where you're going to adjust the hair on. Because if you put the hair cap, the hair cap, the wig cap on, you can pull it down. I can't get my hands. Sorry about that. Like maybe put your wig cap within your, before your hair on, so that way you'd have wig cap, and then you have the boot on top of the wig cap, so it wouldn't touch your skin. Which my skin, I got sensitive skin, so I have to be careful what skin uh, care stuff I use, like some of the alpha hydrox retinol, whatever you call it stuff. Uh, it bit me out really, really weird on my eye one time, and I used some of that regenerating age stuff. It generated, it generated the uh, allergies. You know, my allergies are. I got, I got allergies. Sometimes my allergies get so bad, I, I, my eyes are just so red. I have to put uh, eye drops in it constantly, but. I mean, this is just throwing it on. And I mean, it's still got the... Excuse me. I hope you can hear that. <laughs> I, I have chicken parmesan tonight, and it's really great in my stomach. Um, you know, that's what I was saying. Uh, I'm going to do a video on... Uh, the blue application, and uh, some people use glue, some people use tape. I haven't. I've tried one type of tape, and uh, that was a disaster. I learned fast that it was like two inches thick, and I used a whole gob of it, and I had it all. It was a mess. First time I never tried gluing the wig down. I glued my hair down. Uh, I couldn't even get the wig glued down. I, I, I just didn't do it right at all. But you have, you know, trial and error with everything. And uh, I just wanted to show you the tape directions I got on here. So we've got tape. So that's the glue directions. So that's the tape directions. Now, this is where I would imagine that they would have showed the glue. You know, with her hair up out of the way. And see the way she, her tape is kind of went to it really thin. The tape I had was wider back to the back that way. I just had a time with that. But, uh, you know, you just, like with everything, you just progress and you learn after trial and error of trying different things where it works for you and what don't. I mean everything that somebody else does it might not work for you. But see this is back to the book. This is a graduated length. And I really like the graduated length because um, like if you're driving you can just put your hand in front of your seat belt and not have it all stuck. I don't have any gel, any hairspray, anything on this. It's just fresh out of the pack because I've got tape and junk everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to show you the, the length. You can see it. I forgot my shirt. Those two right here. I can't think of my hair. So anyway. My hair, the wig hair, it's on my head, it's my hair. I like this. This is like the hair I used to have when I was a little girl. Then I wanted it cut short when I got in middle school. I wanted a clip back in, back in the movie straight across. I ended up with more like a bob. Anyway, this is the Janet Collection full lace. Oh, I don't really have much lace in the back. Right in there. Did I miss something? Let me check. Well, it's just got the regular. Huh. 
the regular thing in the back. Got Okay, I can get it untangled. Well, I don't do that. Let's see. This is all real. Ninety percent. That right there is the back and it doesn't have the like the butterfly wig. It, it had lace in the back. Uh that I tried on for the the champagne. Uh champagne I did a video on it. And that's that. This is the Janet collection. Full lace, front and rear, heat resistant fiber, full lace garter in a color number one. And you have a good evening.